leadership and voice will not be diminished if I am not on this committee for one term. My voice will get louder and stronger, and my leadership will be celebrated around the world as it has been. Today's resolution, as it relates to Representative Omar, details six statements she made as a sitting member of Congress that under the totality of the circumstances disqualify her from serving on the Committee on Foreign Affairs. Don't tell me this is about consistency. Don't tell me that this is about an a, a condemnation of anti-Semitic remarks when you have a member of the Republican caucus who, have, who has talked about Jewish space lasers and an, an entire amount of tropes and also elevated her to some of the highest committee assignments in this body. This is about targeting women of color in the, in the United States of America. Don't tell me because I didn't get a single apology when my life was threatened. The representative can say whatever the heck she wants, but we don't have to accept it or embrace it. Individuals who hold such hateful views should rightly be barred from that type of committee. This institution is better because of her leadership and the Foreign Affairs Committee benefits from her perspective. So let's talk about what's really happening. Republicans are waging a blatantly Islamophobic and racist attack on Congresswoman Omar. And I've said it before, I will say it again. The white supremacy happening is unbelievable. This is despicable. We're not removing her from other committees. We just do not believe when it comes to foreign affairs, especially the responsibility of that position around the world with the comments that you make. She shouldn't serve there. 